Welcome everybody to Mugello in the Lavorg. Now, Forza has delivered us a new penalty system update that now calculates based on severity of the situation. So if contact is being made, it's a severity based on how damaging the contact is, as well as severity based on, well not severity based, but time gained if you go off track. So where's the best to test it? Dan Mugello, because turn one or two, turn one's usually quite messy like it is now, and I did do a bit of a dive bomb up there. And turn two is usually when I go off track. We're coming around this corner now. We're going to have a little bit of contact from the front and behind. Audi has a bit of a moment. Goes off track. And I do encourage the situation ever so slightly. I don't get a penalty for going off track. But I do get a penalty for that car facing the wrong way when I made contact. Because somehow that was clearly my fault whilst I was off track. And the car was already facing 90 degrees perpendicular to my own car. Thank you Turn 10 for ruining another beautiful race. I mean, don't get me wrong, this hasn't ruined the race. I, I've got to try and beat everybody else by 4 seconds now, but it's why I did the community post on questioning what do you find more frustrating, bad driving or bad penalties? For me, it's the bad penalties because 4 seconds now has been added to my overall race time on something that was totally un uncontrolled by me yes i could have hit the brake pedal but the car was going off anyway and i would have hit the car anyway is the game calculating because i had accelerated pedal on that i was the one that caused the incident because they're supposed to be collecting 300 percent more data yet still 100 percent wrong 90 percent of the time don't get me wrong other areas has vastly improved such as like going off track things like that to an extent as well Sometimes you still do get the off track pixel over penalties where and it gives you like a 0 0.5 seconds by being a pixel over. Although, yes, you have technically gained time. It's not that large amount of time because you was only literally like a pixel over. So I do feel a bit more of a boundary needs to be put in place. So when you are pixel over, you're not hammered to an extent that you gain this apparent time by pity being the pixel over but i do think it is a warm welcome to the whole system in general it's great that now they're really only punishing you for timed gains so on the premise of it like i say i did do the community post and a lot of people did find that the system was far better than what it was previously and i do agree to a level of extent besides obviously this is one of those rare cases that i managed to stumble across and it's good that i managed to stumble across it so hopefully turn 10 get to see this and fix the errors hopefully <laughs> i don't know I, I it really does frustrate me though when the penalty gets it wrong i don't mind bad driving and i understand that there are massively different levels of people driving so the quality is going to be up and down in areas it's the inconsistent penalties that absolutely drive me insane because I can pick myself up if I've been punted off the track. But what I can't do is sit there and look at that red four second penalty. It drives me insane. Moving on from that though, we are in position four and we are catching up to the Audi up in front. Also to add, there's another big change which I think is... I, I would say is quite, kind of OP, especially for this car. Tire wear has now been reduced from six times to four times. As you can see right now, I'm running softs, and I'm pretty sure everybody else in this race is running mediums. Already, the Lavorg is very, very good on its tire wear. As you can see right now, I'm only halfway through the race, and I'm only just breaking the ice on these tires. Although I do go off track a little bit because I had a bit of a sketchy moment, but as you can it's incredible how really that minute amount of change has made these tires last even longer thus making this Lavorg even more OP I wonder though because let's take an example of Maple Valley when the tire wear was at six times by the time you got around the last lap on medium tires in a front wheel drive car those tires were on minor wear where the Lavorg you could last out just about now with this new tire wear system i wonder if you can actually complete five laps and not actually be on worn tires as you come around the last corner 
On top of that though, being in this car right now, as you can see, we are coming up to the end of lap 5 to start our lap 6. We're only going to have two more laps to go. Again, I'm on soft tyres, and they are not even, I would say, 25% warm. I do wonder what the front-wheel drive cars would be like on this track, and I'm going to have to test it out to see how they perform. I wonder that last two laps are going to be quite dicey. And usually find out that before this update, when you did a qualifying lap, let's say at this track itself by the time you're on lap three your soft tires were about to click onto minor wear being down to 4x i reckon you probably get up to six laps before they're down to minor wear and then the last two laps are going to be absolutely dicey as anything as you can see the car in front did go off track and that's going to give them a 0.4 second penalty so the game reckons that that cut there was worthy of a time gained of about 0.4 seconds let me know down in the comments below if you think that's about right i 0.4 second penalty is not too bad you know it, i've definitely had a lot worse in that corner but it is kind of a sting as well is it a, worthy of a 0.4 second gain i'm not convinced but it again it's a massive step in the right direction to really only penalise if you are gaining time rather than if you got punted off track to oblivion and then giving you that penalty to add insult to injury. Cracking it down to P3, we only have two laps to go and to overtake the out up in front. Sad thing is I do have this penalty lingering over my head so any time gain is more in vain in reality. I know I did another community post, I've been on the community post quite a little bit lately and a lot of you did feel that having a Gran Turismo style penalty system would be far better than the system we have at the moment. I mean by having the slowdown rather than this penalty. I do feel, oh, a little bit Apex Syndrome right there. I am beside you, it isn't going to work if I'm there. But going back to it, I do feel that the slowdown penalty system is definitely more detrimental and may encourage cleanup racing because having that slowdown really does affect you. So 0.5 seconds can give you up to 1.5 seconds worth of time lost, depending on where the slowdown happens. Anyway, coming around this corner now, we are holding on to position two very tightly. Marky 202.16477 is 12 seconds ahead. They are a very, very quick driver though. So I can understand why they are so far ahead. They are also in a link, I believe, but I will have to double check. But we're coming around these corners now, last few corners. I reckon the front tires are going to about to click onto minor wear, on the rear tires are about to click onto minor wear as you come around these past few corners. There certainly will be a braving chance for another lap. I think it suits it rather well, especially in this car now. We've come around here now and we're about to cross the finish line and the tires are just held on there. We do cross the line in position two. Let's see how far we actually are going to drop, though, on the leaderboard with everybody sort of crossing the line. There we are, position four overall, which is not bad. Shame we didn't get podium, but yeah, the four second penalty was quite detrimental. Before the race does end, though, I'd like to take a moment out to thank our channel members, which is Andy Good, Jeffrey Anderson, DMC Motorsport, Sigmatic, Daniel Adams, John Burns, and AK47. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. And don't forget to subscribe if you're enjoying this content. Let's head off to Maple Valley and enjoy this beautiful weather. That's the best way of putting it. It really is hammering it down at this track. We didn't qualify for this race. We are starting off in position nine. Again, we're in the Lavore. We're having wet tires. So everybody in this race is on the same tire strategy. Because I'll tell you now, if you are mediums or soft tires, it's going to be a very interesting for you in this race is all I can say. Thankfully though, I'm not the only Lavorg here. There's the Unleashed Lavorg up in front who has contact with BD Racing to the right hand side. Going past Devil Dave in the MG on the right hand side, a little bit of contact is made as we are, we basically just come together in that corner and we do ultimately lose a little bit of time from the cars up in front. Thankfully though, this Lavorg, I am running very little downforce on it right now. So it is managing to outpace the MG to the right hand side. We're coming around this corner now in third gear. 
and it really is wet on this track it's really really dicey in this car it's a brave move to make as we're breaking down the third gear here and turning in and i'm going to accelerate out the other side and try and maximize this track width and try and catch up with the cars up in front i do hope that they are going to be a little bit slower floyd st150 is up in position one Position 5 is just in front of me. I'm going to try and sneak up the inside here and see if we can get that move done. There we go, hugging that white line on the right hand side. Let's go around this corner. Radar showing the are oh, going a little bit quicker than me. And that might mean. Oh, they're backing out. Thank you for that. Going over here, straight over into the grass in front of us. And do I get a penalty for that one? No penalty. Okay, so we, we didn't gain time. But we stayed on the track, which is brilliant news, really. I wonder how the car up in front got a 0 0.8 second penalty, though. I'd love to be able to know that one. But we do have in position 4, 1.2 seconds away, it looks like a Mercedes-Benz, followed by a Honda Civic in front of that. So we really got to get our hammer down. Surprising the Honda Civics. I, I don't know, have the Honda Civics been buffed or something like that? Because they really are starting to show... A little bit of precedence on a lot of racing tracks as someone has gone into the gravel pit well that corner is nasty when you get it wrong the amount of times i've gone in that corner a little bit too hot and i ended up in the drink so that's the last place you want to do it going to go up on the right hand side of the mercedes as they did cover the inside line we breaking down to third gear getting close up behind them but not close enough to have a bit of contact just let them know I'm there. So hopefully if they have a radar on, it will light up like a Christmas tree for them. Breaking at the second sign in and turning in. They're going to go a little bit wider. So I'm going to sneak up the inside. Come on, turn. That's it. Power, power, power. And uh, hopefully we get the inside line of the next corner. And the car to the right inside does back out. There we go. Thank you ever so much. That is another position gain. I just need to catch up to FM7773111 up in front. I'm sure if that... Oh, look, that position one has gone off as well into the wall. That wall is also detrimental. It is made of glue and it will just hug you in there and spin you around. Really, just got to try and make a move on this Honda Civic up in front and really catch him up. 1.9 seconds ahead of me, 2 seconds now with a 1.4 second penalty. Right, coming down here now, I'm going to let off because I don't have the bottle to come through here flat out. Hondo did go through flat out and met the wall. Position one is now ours. Look at that. Lap three and we have gained into position one. Smashing news right there. As we come around here now, hugging that white line and accelerating out of the corner. Keep it to the right hand side here. As soon as we pass that last side, just a touch of the brakes into fourth gear and coasting it around here now really with the 1 1.7 1.8 second lead i've got on the cars up in front i'm not gonna absolutely nail it and try and gain more time away from them i'm gonna try and hold that time give or take and hopefully stay on the tarmac as well it's more about preservation now than it is about gaining more time from the cars behind as we're coming down here, second sign in on the right hand side, breaking down the third gear and try and hold that white line on the left hand side and start accelerating out of this corner. Coming over to the right hand side, over the curb we go, flat out up here. I do actually let off a little bit on this dip now, just to make sure the car doesn't go too quickly and into the barrier on the right hand side. Letting off the throttle a little bit here, just holding a consistent speed rather than pushing the car up the hill. Coming around here now, holding that white line on the right side, trying not to clip the grass like I did because it does upset the car a little bit. Straight through here, as straight as possible, or as, bra as brave as you uh, like to go. As soon as it gets a bit darker there, turn right and down the hill we go. Again, I am not hammering this car, I'm more preserving the life. As you can see, I'm letting off fully there and coming through this section now. We are 3.7 seconds away from position 2. Well, it's, it's dropping down a little bit. They are going to be quicker through that section there as they're probably a little bit more braver than myself. Coming around this corner now in third gear, rubbing that white line on the right hand side and accelerating out the corner we go. Keep it to the right hand side. As soon as we pass that last sign on your left, a touch of the brakes in fourth gear, over the curbs we go and accelerating out the other side. 
and the way one person's quit there I think that might be position two that has quit and no longer on the list but the next person behind is now Floyd ST 170 which is 4.2 second away oh Polo Phipps has quit as well that's some two people down yeah two people's quit the race it's a shame really because position two wasn't really that far behind I think position two was in the Mercedes Benz so I wonder why they quit did they go off track or something I mean it has benefited us to a certain extent because now Floyd ST 150 is 4.4 seconds away although I do believe they are in an Audi that was the one that went spinning off at the top here so I really do have to be mindful of the time that I am taking my time with so they don't gain too much 4.7 seconds away right now position 3 is 7.1 seconds away but we are getting a nice clear run as we're going through this section right now and down the hill we go thankfully though one more lap to go we have set a best lap time of 145.551 and I think we might be a second up in this lap as well close to it at least so we're going to set a 144.891 could have done a little bit better I uh, stuffed up the last corner a little bit with a little bit of skewiness Floyd though has been catching up they are now 3.8 seconds 3.9 seconds away at the moment so they are gaining on us but hopefully as long as I don't fluff up this final lap we should be in a strong position to hold on to position one as Heike's 360 ES does say something but I have no clue because I have voices turned off with the voices turned off though I do feel that it should not come up on the screen that someone's saying something I do I find it distracting what do you guys think do you find it distracting let me know down in the comments below coming around this corner now looking again for the second sign in breaking down the third gear my wet tires have lasted really really well and I cannot complain about that I started out of the other side up the hill we go we are actually 0.7 seconds down of our best so we actually have lost a little bit of time there coming around this corner now in fourth gear let the car coast around and just applying the throttle gently to keep the speed up a little bit without obviously upsetting the balance of the car coming around here now rub that curb on the left well not curb but try and rub that white line on the left and then let's go straight through this section here coming downhill on the right side you can see Floyd is gaining time upon us but we are about to cross the finish line long as we don't fluff up this last corner there we go we managed it to do it in one piece and across the line we go in position one this time actually and I don't have a penalty to slow me down look at that 